Hey guys, this is Game Tech Super Shine back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the changes in the brand new Windows 10 technical preview build that's build 10049. So I'll start off with some of the less significant changes and move on to the biggest one. So we've got a notification center in this build, and right now I have no notifications, of course, but if there was, they'd display right here. And then I can uh, get my quick settings, like it is in Android, right there, and I can turn them on or off by clicking on them, and I can expand them to see more and collapse them back down. And that's the notification center. Now, there is also a slightly redesigned start menu. Now, if you remember from my previous Windows 10 uh, video, the start menu was built completely differently, and now they have completely rebuilt it using just completely different code, completely different everything. And it's a lot smoother, a lot better. Uh, however, there are there is one major feature that is missing, and that is the ability to resize the start menu custom. You still can't do that. It's a custom size, and you can make it full screen, and that's it. You can make it full screen or the start menu. Uh, but you've got your file explorer documents and settings. You can't really change this. Uh, however, uh, there is no picture with it as it is down here, and I think that looks much more professional. You've got your live tiles right here. Again, they are live. And you've got your most used right here, which you can customize, and it changes, and it's pretty nice. You can click on all apps and scroll through all of your apps. And desktop apps are now included under the same name letter category as... Uh, metro apps or uh, universal apps so that's definitely nice to see for example Google Chrome is in the same category as games which would not happen on Windows 10 you've got your profile and you've got your shutdown controls and that's pretty much the start menu now I can still do what uh, I loved about Windows 8 which is just clicking Windows and start typing so I can do you know 9 times 9 and it will actually just uh, bring me to my next point which is Cortana Cortana is in this build. It's been in a few previous builds too, but I just thought I'd go over it. So of course, you can get your apps, uh, which would happen anyway without Cortana, your documents and web searches. Again, would happen without Cortana. However, Cortana pops up with a handy uh, answer and she you know, tells me the answer and I can do more calculations right there. And I can of course go to Cortana's home, which you can do by just clicking on the text box and it sort of shows you what's going on. As you can see, it's snowing outside. But, um, that's, that's Cortana. You can, uh, also ask it to define words. For example, you can say, uh, you know, you can tell it to define words, and then you can click on find the answer, and it gives you the answer. Now, sometimes it does this, which is not really understanding what's going on, and it gives you a Bing search, but it's still very fast, and it works. And I can also talk to it by saying, Hey Cortana, as you can see right there, it pops up and is now listening to everything I say. Let's not do that. But hey Cortana, what's nine times nine? And of course, of course, some things are still buggy, but it responds to when I say hey Cortana, and that's a pretty awesome feature to be honest with you. Now another thing that I want to go over in Windows uh, 10 build 10,049 is task view changes and how uh, how much smoother everything is with task view. So you can access task view by clicking the Windows tab on your keyboard. And as you can see right now, I don't really have any windows open. I have my screen recorder. And I can click on New Desktop to make a new desktop. And then I can switch to it. Now, Windows Control arrow keys, you can switch desktops. As you can see, it's very smooth. Uh, it may not show like that on the <laughs> recording, but it is pretty smooth. And pressing Windows tab, uh, you can actually drag and drop. So I can drag and drop uh, various apps to different desktops. Now, it's not working with my screen recorder, of course, because it's a screen recorder, but I can open up uh, Calc, and then go to Windows Tab, and I can just drag this down to the second desktop, and it's on the second desktop, and I can, of course, go back and then uh, add that back to the first desktop, and then exit out of the second one. So, Task View has got some really nice animations, it's really smooth, it's uh, actually a really pl a big pleasure to use. There's a nice gradient effect. It's really beautiful. And then we get to the ugliest change, which is the recycle bin icon. It's just not good. But we'll get to the best change, and that is Project Spartan. Now, I've done a few videos in the 
recent past like a day ago about project spartan but this is pretty much how it is as you can see right there it booted up very quickly and just using this is incredibly quick i mean i've been using this in uh addition to chrome for the past few days uh chrome does have some important features that uh, project spartan does not have yet which are extensions and syncing now extensions are coming to project spartan we know this because you can also find it in settings add-ons uh and i don't know about syncing it'll probably sync but you can't really get project spartan on android or ios right now and that is the biggest deal for me so it's pretty darn fast um it's, it's i think the scrolling is something i really liked but um you know everything loads very very fast and it's just a pleasure to use i did a speed test by the way yesterday if you want to go check that out I'll, I'll have an annotation but overall this is a very fast browser uh it's minimalistic but you know i can add to reading list and favorites and stuff as you expect but i can also do the web note annotations that uh, microsoft talked about so i can say hey guys and then i can you know scribble all over the entire thing i can highlight the stuff and you know, you can really go crazy with this. You can save it to your favorites, and it will actually bring up the web notes. It saves it as a temporary file in your C drive, and then you can bring it up even when you're offline. And you can do the same thing with your uh, reading list. So you can access this again when you're offline, and that's a pretty cool feature. You can also share it. Sharing doesn't work right now, as you can see. It, it doesn't work, but saving definitely works, and it's definitely an awesome feature that is working and awesome in uh, Project Spartan. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I think I have covered everything I needed to uh, about Windows 10 build 10,049. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Windows 10 coverage, be sure to subscribe and like this video. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching.